Yesterday, we told you that the police commissioner said during his annual crime report that he was concerned about last year's crime figures. Well, tonight, the focus is on firearms smuggling. Altavis Munnings has details. According to the Royal Bahamas Police Force's website, 51 firearms have been taken off the streets so far in 2016. But in 2015, 391 illegal firearms and 8,297 assorted ammunition were seized by officers. 191 firearms were recovered from intelligence and public information, while 120 were found from searches by the police. 252 pistols comprised the majority of that figure, along with shotguns, revolvers, rifles, and imitation firearms. Commissioner of Police Ellison Greenstead revealed this week that every firearm discovered by police officers are electronically traced to find out where the weapon was manufactured, stored, and who purchased it. Results have shown that most of the firearms found here in the Bahamas come from the United States. Another firearm tracing tactic used by the police is called time to crime. From the point of purchase in a store in Florida, not by a Bahamian. That gun was on our streets 15 days thereafter. That is what is called a short time to crime. The Royal Bahamas Police Force charged 240 persons for firearm-related offenses in 2015. 144 cases were placed before the courts. 74 have been completed, while 70 remain pending. The commissioner outlined this trend detected by the force's Firearms Tracing and Investigation Unit. That a Bahamian could go to America form a relationship with an American or a citizen of America um, and when we subsequently, subsequently arrest the Bahamian on the streets of New Providence with a gun, his travel records will show us that he or she has been moving back and forth. And the police force fully credits its partnership with the United States government in limiting the amount of firearms that arrive here. For the first time in our history, a very senior agent from ATF resident in New Providence, working out of the U.S. Embassy, and also a very se senior agent from HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, working very closely out of the Embassy. And the cross-fertilization between those people and our Firearms Tracing and Investigations Unit and our, our folks in Florida were able to get some good things. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.